Everybody welcome Catherine to the Mari Show. So, Catherine, Catherine met her soulmate Brian when she was a senior in high school. Just two days after turning 18, they got married. But after Brian spent a year in the Army, their relationship began to crumble because Brian claimed to have cheated on her. And guess what? She divorced him immediately. But recently, Catherine decided to give their love a second chance. So before she can dedicate one more day to this relationship, Brian needs to pass a lie detector test. Here's the thing, Catherine. He said to you that he cheated on you. Yeah, he admitted to it to me. Yeah, and then you said, if that's the case, I'm done, I'm getting a divorce. But, but then he took it all back. He said he really didn't cheat on you. He just, wa he just wanted to get a rise out of you. I don't, I don't know why he thought that it was a good idea to admit that he cheated on me. Right. He knew that something bad was going to happen Do you think he that. really did cheat on you? Yeah, I do think that he did cheat on me. I see. Okay. I don't see why someone would lie about that in the first place. Right. Yeah. So then you got divorced, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, you, you got back. Well, he came back to me. He told me that it was all a lie. He told me that he still loved me, and I do still love him. I love him with all my heart. And we have our daughter together, and I think that if we can work it out, that's the best case for both of us and her. Does he disappear in the middle of the night? He has, yes. He's claimed to go to Walmart at 2 a.m. to get a surprise for me. And then he comes back an hour and a half later with a Reese cup, which he could have got down the street at a gas station. I see. Did you find a message from one of his coworkers? You look good on your knees, uh, saying... Saying that he's going to run away from me and our daughter and go away with this person and travel. And what did he ask you on New Year's Eve? He asked me to marry him again. And what he did you say? He did it on Facebook Live and everything, and I did say yes because I do want to marry him again. But all this stuff needs to be cleared up first. You think he's been paying for sex? I can pretty much guarantee it. Who else will sit there and message someone talking about, oh, well, it's going to cost you this much. I don't remember the price, but this woman was like, oh, it's going to cost you, it's going to cost you this much. And he's like, good, I need to relieve some stress. Well, guess what? He sat down with my producers last night. This is what he said. From the moment I met Catherine, I fell madly in love with her. I know we were young, but I followed my heart. I dedicated my entire life and sacrificed so much. Catherine and her daughter mean the world to me. When I listed in the Army, it was to serve my country. All I wanted to do was provide the best life for my family. I made the worst mistake of my life when I told Catherine I cheated. I was going through a tough time, but I didn't mean any of it. When she divorced me, my world was shattered. Today, there is nothing I wouldn't do to get my family back. Catherine, I love you, and I have not and will not cheat on you. Just like I was willing to fight for our country, I promise you, I will fight for our relationship. Everybody, here's Brian. Nice to see you, Brian. Good to see you. Have a seat. Why would you admit to cheating on her and then take it back? It was something I felt was she wanted to hear. Who wants so, to hear something like that? Because you always accuse me of things, so you always say, I want to hear something, but... I found you, messages from you of you cheating. I found messages of you... Yeah, going through my phone. Going... wouldn't have to. She filed for a divorce. What about that? Well, it's something she always, she always accused me of, she always, any argument we ever had, she said she wants a divorce. Right. So I gave her the divorce she wanted, but it was wrong of me to do that. How about the fact that you've been texting other people? Well, I haven't texted anybody or messaged anybody. I was down in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, my phone doesn't have a lock on it, so my roommate that I was roomed with, I didn't know him, so he got on my phone. Oh, so it was his text. So, how come you disappear at 2 a.m. in the morning, go to Walmart to buy a surprise present from her, and come home with a Reese's cup? Well, I went there thinking I had more money than what I had, but apparently I didn't. I spent there probably about an hour looking for a gift, and once I found one, I noticed I didn't have enough money in my wallet because it wasn't payday yet. And, and I know she loves Reese's. 
Nazi cult? Well, she always asks for one. Well, guess what? We've got the lie detector yeah! results here. During your relationship with Catherine, have you ever slept with anyone else? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh. When you receive phone calls at all hours of the night, are they from someone you slept with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh. found on your neck come from someone you slept with. You said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Did you have sexual contact with the army friend Catherine discovered text messages to? You said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. It's a fool. Can you forgive him? If he would have told the truth, then yeah, I probably would, but not with him still lying about it. You are not the father.